Hey everyone, so in this tutorial series I'm going to be teaching you how to build your own blog website from scratch using .NET Core, C Sharp and uh, Visual Studio IDE. So we're going to build it all the way from the bottom from an empty project to where you can publish it and we will publish it to the internet. You will be able to type your address in the address bar and go to your website. Now for this tutorial go ahead and download the .NET Core SDK and the .NET Core runtime. I will explain what they do later on. And you want your IDE, so your development environment where you're going to be typing all the code. You want to download Visual Studio uh, Community version 2017. So after installing the .NET Core SDK and Visual Studio, let's go ahead and create a new project. So you can do so by clicking on File, New, and Project. Or you can use the keybinds, Control Shift N, which is uh, what I like to use. Find your ISP.NET Core application project template and give it a name. Mine will be blog and then find a location for it. So this one is my preferred location. And then go ahead and click, up, click OK. Now we actually have to select the template. There's a bunch here, but we want the empty one since we're going to be starting to, from scratch to learn, what, to learn how it works. <clears throat> now I created the project for us and uh, you should have a window like this here, Solution Explorer. This is where your solution lives and your project blog. And in your project is all the files that belong to the project. Now, if you accidentally close Solution Explorer, you can bring it up by holding down Control Alt and L, or you can type it in here, uh, Solution Explorer. And there you have it. You can click it on here and it will bring it up. Now at this point the application is pretty empty. We all we have is uh, the program.cs file, the startup.cs file, and then a bunch of other folders that you don't really need to know about just yet. So the program.cs file is where the main method is located, and uh, it's basically the entry point to the application. So when you start the executable, this is the first thing that's run. Don't worry about the other stuff just yet. We will get to that later on. The startup.cs file configures your request pipeline. So if we look at this bit of code here, all it does is that it takes the context for the current request and to the response of that context, all it does is write hello world. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So uh, to run the application, you either play the, press this uh, play button or hit F5. Okay, so here we can see hello world, and if we go uh, like slash anything, it will still output hello world. So any any route you put, okay, it will just output hello world. So close this, and this is because it takes literally all we have in our app right now. Take any response and write hello world to it. Now, before we actually start coding in the uh, in the episodes to come, I want you to go to Tools, Extensions and uh, Updates, and under Online, uh, search for the ones I got installed here. It is, let me find it real quick. Okay, Open Command Line, and Add New File. So just type in the name of these two applications into extensions into the search filter here they should come up and just install them you should you will probably be asked to restart visual studio but yeah after installing the two extensions go ahead and uh, proceed to the next episode thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions ask me in the comments i'll be happy to answer them